Have you ever wondered why germination trays are so popular among farmers, gardeners and vegetable and fruit companies? Hello and welcome back to agriculture series of Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek and in today's video I will tell you what are germination trays and why these trays are proved to be so useful in agriculture and home gardening. At last I will also tell you how to make a good soil mix for germination trays. So first let's see what are germination trays. The germination trays are nothing but plastic trays with several wells with a small hole at the bottom. These trays are flexible enough to take out small plants easily without damaging the root system for transplantation. These trays may have different number and size of wells as you can see in these pictures. Number of wells and depth of the wells depends primarily upon the type of plant you want to grow. If you want bigger plants for transplantation, you need bigger well trays. If you want to accommodate more plants in a smaller space, you can choose trays with more wells. Coming on to why germination trays are so important in agriculture and gardening. Reason number one, you can germinate multiple seeds with good root system in a small space. Reason number two, you will need lesser water to grow so many plants. So if you have a scarcity of water for irrigation, you must use these trays. Reason number three, it is easy to transplant seedlings or plants from germination trays to the field. Due to the flexibility of the tray and type of soil mix used, you can easily take out plants for transplantation without damaging their roots. Reason number four, you can grow plants under controlled environment even when the outside weather is not suitable for seed germination. This way you can get good harvest earlier or later than usual season to get good profits. Reason number five, it is easier to sell and transport hundreds and thousands of plants in these trays to distant places. Reason number six, you can avoid wastage of land by only planting the viable and healthy plants as during germination a few seeds may fail to germinate. Reason number seven, tissue culture plants can also be acclimatized in these trays before transplanting them to open field. This prevents the plant lethality. So these are some of the important reasons why germinating seeds in these trays is so much popular among farmers and gardeners. Do mention in the comment if you want to add any important information to it. I will be happy to learn more from you. Now let's see how to make good soil mix for germination trays. There are multiple components and their ratios that one can use for soil mix preparation. For example, you can use equal ratio of garden soil, vermicompost and cocoa pit. Or you can use equal ratio of sand, vermicompost and cocoa pit. You may also germinate in vermicompost alone. Vermicompost itself is rich in organic matter, essential nutrients to facilitate seed germination and initial growth in seedling trays. Some people use one portion of perlite too in their mix to improve the soil aeration and drainage. Once you plant the seeds in these germination trays, it is essential to maintain the moisture of the soil mix. If the weather is too hot, keep them in shade to provide cooler temperature. If the temperature is too cool, you can keep it at warmer temperature or you may keep it in a greenhouse or simply cover it with a transparent polythene with a few holes in it and then put it under the direct sun. This way you will get faster germination. So that's all for the today's video. If you are interested in more such videos, do let me know in the comment section. You can also check out my other videos in agriculture series. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay notified as soon as I upload a new content. Thanks and see you in my next video.